Hi, it's Rebecca here and I'm going to go through some speech sound cues that I have and they all feature animals. Um, and the cute thing is, is that many of the names of the animals actually link to the sound. So we're really um, playing with that sound awareness um, to help cue um, the child's speech sounds. So here they are. We have our popping penguin sound and we call it popping because we like talking about the lips popping open for p. Um, the next one we have, I've got my grouchy gorilla sound and sometimes I um, ask my kids to put on a grouchy voice or be like go go go. so that's him there. Uh, we've got my quiet uh, coughing cat sound. Um, so this uh, coughing cue um, has actually worked quite well. We talk about like a sound back here and it's a soft sound. We have my tiptoeing tiger sound. We called it tiptoeing because we wanted to make sure that kids knew that the sound was soft. T -t -t -t. We've got my babbling bird sound. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I like that one for babbling. And then um, we've got my digging dog sound. So a lot of the times I'll pair movements as well and be like duh, duh, duh. Um, For our long sounds, for our fricatives, we have our quiet sheep sound. Which quiet sheep sound. Shh. My hissing snake sound, I like that one. This is my noisy zebra sound. Um, so we say noisy because we really want to contrast that with the, um, the quiet, the hiss of the snake there. Um, the last three sounds for fricatives, uh, we didn't have animals that had the same starting sound. So we really, um, I guess, drew upon a metaphor. So one of them is our bunny teeth sound for F. Um, it's just a really nice cue I like to use. So make sure I see your bunny teeth. And I like that um, the teeth are included here. So that's a really fun one. Um, and linking on with that, we called the V shark teeth. Like that. And you can um, do some movement. Uh, and then we've got the poking rhino sound for TH4. Now the reason why we said poking is because I kind of like this little visual of the little um, horn poking up the top. And as you know with TH, our tongue has to poke through a little bit. So that's why we, um, we use that cue. Um, we have our jumping giraffe sound, J, and our chattering cheetah sound, ch. We have our, these are some more metaphors here, our lifting elephant sound. I really like this one. I like the cue of the trunk to lift up the tongue. Um, so that's our lifting all sound. We have our growly lion sound. So I really, really um, like to use this cue sometimes just to encourage the child to, um, to, you know, to have a growly sound. It can help bunch up that tongue. Um, and we have the round whale sound. Last few, we've got our neighing horse sound and our mooing cow sound. And we've got our oinking pig sound for the NG, for the mm. Now, one thing that I do like to do is I like to hold them up. Um, so if a child, you know, substitutes one sound for another. So I'll give you a really good example. A lot of the times we do have children that say um, a W for the R. And so I might say, oh, you know, you said um, run with your round lip sound. It kind of sounded like one. Do you think you can do it with that growly sound? Run like that. So I will use these cues a lot um, for minimal pairs. Um, I also like to do it for sound identification as well. So I was working um, with a child today and we're just focusing on them hearing the first sound. Um, and I picked sounds that were really different. I picked an M and I had my S sound, my snake sound. And it was, what was the first sound you, you hear? You know, or which animal was saying this sound? If I say seat, is it your snake? Or is it your, um, your mooing cow, which one? So I like to hold them up for those as well. Anyway, I hope you um, enjoyed seeing these. I like to cut them out and as you can see, I stick um, them on with some tape and that's how I get to hold them. And then I just store them in this. And it's just a really nice little way for me to be able to grab some cues and have them on hand for speech therapy. Um, if you like this video, we've got a lot more on our channel, so make sure that you subscribe and uh, learn more about treating speech sound disorders.